Championship showdown between Alexander Volkanovsky and the Korean Zombie, Chan Song Jung. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145 pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Chung is two years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting in a Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean zombie, Chen Song Chung. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? Fight! Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! Nice strike to the midsection glances. Oh! 
right, he engages in a single collar tie here. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. He's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I haven't a... Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he... And this might just be a matter of time. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, Volkanovski's back in full mount. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Zombie. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Chan Sung Chung. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Bar right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Volkanovski's back in full mount. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. 
All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mincemeat with that ground and pound in the previous round. Oh, he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transitions into the elbows. I mean, he was so he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, jiu-jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face, and there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Big punch lands. Ooh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, single collar tie now. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. <laughs> Missed with that right hand. Single collar tie now. Ooh. the body now with the kick that one is blocked though wow and potentially a critical takedown here yep got to be very careful there oh nice he might get a finish here in trouble. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Volkanovski. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. I mean, how many can he take? 90 seconds and counting in round two. Lance with the ground and pound. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. And attacking armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time 
when you're this good in the submissions. So the celebration is officially on now for the UFC featherweight champion, and why not? What a way to get the job done.